fields the poppies blow between the crosses row on row that marks our place and in the sky the larks still bravely singing fly scarce amid the guns below we are the dead short days ago we lived felt dawn saw sunset glow loved and were loved and now we lie in flanders field take up our quarrel with the foe to you from failing hands we throw the torch be yours hold it high if ye break faith with us who die we shall not sleep though poppies grow in flanders field Anzac Day became a sacred occasion to come together and remember the fallen and the sacrifices they made for the freedom we cherish. The Anzac experience on the Western Front went on to shape the social fabric of our two young nations for years to come. Barely a community was untouched by the tragic loss of young lives and most of those who were lucky enough to return home carried the psychological scars for the remainder of their lives and bound by the customs of their time, they got on with their lives as though nothing had happened. It's probably impossible to understand what they actually went through. For these old diggers, Anzac Day became a day of both commemoration and healing. It was a special day for pausing to remember their fallen comrades, and also a day for reuniting with their surviving mates, those who did indeed understand what they had been through. To those who served in later campaigns and who are still serving, Anzac Day takes on fresh meaning. In 2009, I commemorated Anzac Day in Afghanistan. I was serving in a small patrol base. Our medic was a very handy carpenter and he made a simple cross bearing the words, lest we forget. There, alongside the Afghan National Army officers and men we were mentoring, we commemorated all those who served before us and especially those killed and wounded both uh, those wounded both physically and psychologically. The simple ceremony reminded me of how trivial my discomforts were compared to the hardships of my forebears, but also of the ongoing need to defend our nations and the free people who live in them. I felt proud to carry the torch first borne by the Anzacs. Today we come together to remember Australians, New Zealanders, and the sons and daughters of all nations represented here who fought and died in times of conflict right up to the present day. We recommit ourselves to the ideals of a peaceful and prosperous world where our children, and one day your children, can live and grow in safety. We hope to be worthy of the legacy of our forebears, many of whom gave their lives in service to their countries. We trust that those sacrifices were not made in vain, lest we forget.